Welcome to Joyful Angel Oracle. I am Angelia Joy. Thank you for joining me today. Today we're going to have an individualized offering using the Enchanted Map by Colette Baron reed If you would, you can pick one of the words you see before you, joy, faith, or hope, or you can pick all three. <laughs> if you would uh, take this time to set your intention and focus your awareness, I'll open with the invocation. I ask the divine energy of love that permeates the universe and bonds all in one to guide each of us seeking into the highest truth we are ready to understand. all at once. So there we go. Okay, we'll do joy, faith, and hope. So here, for those of you that chose joy, we have commitment. And I, I find this to be a beautiful card. Here where you have the hand and the divine energy you have all these bits of love and sparks of ideas and uh, wishes. And they are asking you to, to put your hand in with the divine and honor the commitment that you feel impelled from within. So let's see what Colette Baron reed has to offer us. A true commitment is a responsibility of the heart mind, body, and soul. This is a good time to make one. Partnerships formed at this time are harmonious and powerful. The commitment card also indicates the natural evolution of a relationship. At the very least, there is a promise of fulfillment in some form. However, you must be conscious of what you're committing to. Be clear about the nature of your commitment and your responsibility to it. Others are more willing to enter into partnerships at this time. Remember that your partnership with spirit and the highest version of your own self will engage the highest self in another. And here for faith. Beautiful card as well. Details, details, details. Number 43. And this has got to be my favorite part right here. Is the little mouse gaining his clarity. <laughs> it's a very whimsical card. It's um it's got all these fairy dust lights and and these small beams. They always give me the uh the feeling of the fae coming to join. <laughs> Join in. Number 43. The most powerful patterns are created within the tiniest details. Pay attention. This is the time to be aware of the fine print in all areas of your life. Look at the details and leave the broad strokes for another time. When this card appears in a reading, it is a sign to finesse a project make small but meaningful gestures, or add a personal touch to your correspondence. Be aware that what you need to know lies in the details. If you're entering into an agreement of any kind, pay attention to them before, not after. Clarity and transparency are key. You can gain great understanding by observing the minute body language, offhand remarks, and fleeting facial expressions that reveal the larger picture. Okay, and here with hope, you have number five, goblins. And this is, this is, this is a stunningly beautiful card as they all are, but the first time I got this, I was like, oh my. So I want to read from the book so you get the full message that 
Colet has offering us here. Number five. Goblins. Fear is an illusion. Choose love today. Forgive yourself and others. Goblins are born when you're wounded and something essential is lost in that experience. From that point on, as you forget their, your wholeness, they remain with you in the shadows. There, they remind you of what brought them into being by mimicking your own voice, tricking you into believing that you're unworthy, victimized, or unlovable. They hold you hostage through low self-worth, self-sabotage, and the feeling that you're lacking what you need. If the goblins pay you a visit, know that they represent the shadow of your own self and that they're leading you into a potentially reactive situation. A goblin's card appearance is an opportunity for growth and a signal that you must love yourself. No human is without flaws. The goblin's message is that you must release resentments and negative self-talk. Within you is the spark of the divine. Ask spirit to help you heal. Miracles can and do happen. Let go of the negativity. <laughs> and I, I really like how the cards lined up, you know, with the, the words. Uh, it's quite beautiful. I hope you enjoy the reading, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you for joining me, and I'll return again, and I hope you will as well.